the verdict is in. Donald Day Trump guilty on all 34 felony charges. It's going to be a hot summer and it's going to enter into a cold winter. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Bahashem Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. And citations to the Akim out there laboring of the hopeful elect that's doing this work in truth and sincerity. And um, this is pretty much the beginning of the end for Babylon. You know, because this, this man, this individual here, all right, they're pretty much doing everything in their power to make sure that this man does not get back in office. You know, and I always keep saying this, that this is a witch hunt. This always has been a witch hunt. You see? Because we're entering into a, the, 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 the new order that's going to be set up and established. You see? And all of the uh, laws that have been passed, unrighteous decrees, you see? Uh, this place turned into a, a, a lawless land, uh, pretty much a banana republic. You see? And you're seeing the, these things on display. Okay? This place is pretty much imploding from the inside out. Now, this is pretty much the, the, the Edomite hope right here. This individual here trying to run for president. Okay? Because why? It's because he will pretty much get in office, if he did, and pretty much undo, you know, everything that the unseen hand has set up. You know? That unseen hand, that shadow government, pretty much has all their ducks in a row on how they want to bring this place down to the ground. You see? And it's all for, uh, it's all because of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai at the end of the day. You see? All right? These are the, the, the wise men of Teman have pretty much deceived themselves. You see? Because this whole thing is going to backfire uh, at, at, at any anyway, according to prophecy. You see? And I want to play a little bit of this right here, and we're going to hit some scriptures. The judge certainly did everything. Here's the former president, now a convicted felon 34 times, about to address reporters. This was a disgrace. This was a rigged trial by a conflicted judge who was corrupt. It's a rigged trial, a disgrace. They wouldn't give us a venue change. We were at 5% or 6% in this district, in this area. This was a rigged, disgraceful trial. But the real verdict is going to be November 5th by the people. And they know what happened here, and everybody knows what happened here. We have a sore respect, DA. And the whole thing, we didn't do a thing wrong. I'm a very innocent man, and it's okay. I'm fighting for our country. I'm fighting for our Constitution. Our whole country is being rigged right now. This was done by the Biden administration in order to wound or hurt an opponent, a political opponent. And I think it's a, just a disgrace. And we'll keep fighting. We'll fight till the end, and we'll win because our country's gone to hell. We don't have the same country anymore. We have a divided mess. We're a nation in decline, serious decline. Millions and millions of people pouring into our country right now from prisons and from mental institutions, terrorists, and they're taking over our country. We have a country that's in big trouble, but this was a rigged decision right from day one with a conflicted judge who should have never been allowed to try this case, never. And we will fight for our Constitution. This is long from over. Thank you very much. Let me get a scripture real quick, you know, because he wants to get things back into order. And pretty much, you know, the unseen hand is not allowing him to do that. You know, you know, pretty much this, this, the time for this place is up. Okay. And we're witnessing the downfall of Babylon, you know, and there's no nothing that anybody can do about it. You see, not even if he got into office. Okay, all right. Let's go with Jeremiah chapter fifty-one, verse 
Let's start at 9. And I'm going to read this in the NLT. Jeremiah 51 verse, verse 9. We would have helped her if we could. But nothing can save her now. Let, let her go. Abandon her. Return now to your own land. For her punishment reaches to the heavens. You see? All right? But pretty much, let's read up a little bit. Okay? But suddenly, this is verse 8. But suddenly, Babylon 2 has fallen. Weep for her. Give her medicine. Perhaps she yet be healed. Okay? And, and, and what will be the medicine? The medicine would be to pretty much... Uh, get somebody in there that will pretty much uh, guide the ship right, you know, get the country back on track, you know, make America great again. You know, those are those those, those will be those medicines to try to turn around the economy, to try to turn around the, the quality of life, you see, and to overturn this place that's turning into a banana republic, man. You see, now he pretty much uh, uh, knows that the, these charges were pretty much frivolous charges, you see. Now, he's still able to run even though he was convicted. You know, you could be a convicted felon and still run for president. You know, there's only three um, requirements to run for president here in Babylon. Uh, you have to be at least 35 years of age. You have to be a natural born citizen. And you have to be, li be living here uh, at least 14 consecutive years uh, 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 in this country. Those are only only three requirements that, are, uh, that pretty much, you know, could, uh, you know, get you into the Oval Office, so to speak, you know, and just a quick tidbit, um, back in, uh, the, the 1900s, uh, early 19th century, um, there was a, a candidate that pretty much ran for president in, in jail, okay, and he pretty much got close to a million votes on that matter, you see, you know, but, you know, he figures to get much more, you know, but, uh, Who's to say that it's going to even make it to the elections? Okay? Because pretty much now, they're pretty much handcuffing this man to not be able to campaign, to go on a campaign trail. Right now, both candidates should be in full swing on a, on a, on a, on a campaign trail. But you're seeing now that even, even with Biden, he, Biden is not even going up on a campaign trail. So there's something that's brewing uh, uh, behind closed doors, man. And, and and pretty much, man, this is is gonna get ugly, man. It's gonna it's gonna get carnal, so to speak. Okay, you know, you know, this man, if, if all things fail, he he he, go, he turns to his, his uh, and, and gets carnal. So pretty much, people's safety, okay, all right, oh, is gonna be at stake. You know, you pretty much see the writings on a wall, all right. You know, now now these these these, these so called patriots. You know, the guys that are pretty much alone up on guns and, and you know, uh, uh, they, you know, they, they act like they can't see it a mile away. You know, they're prepping for this, 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 this time to come, but their mind is not even in the wrong place, man. You know, they have to pretty much fight for their sovereignty, man. Okay, they, their sovereignty is pretty much being taken away right before their eyes and there's nothing they can do about it. You see, you know, all the guns and the ammo in the world is, is not going to deliver this place. You see? Okay, it, it, it is being systematically picked apart. Okay, the Lord is controlling the minds of the kings. You got to remember that. All right, let's play a little bit more of this video. Donald Trump not talking details of the case, but attacking as he has pretty much every day uh, consistently and often late uh, at night. Uh, the, uh, the judicial system in the United States claiming that this is uh, rigged, uh, that this shouldn't uh, have been brought in. Uh, New York, uh, where his business is in fact located, um, here with Paula Reed and Caitlin Collins. I mean, this is, again, uh, clearly he's turning this to politics and to the campaign and trying to link this, what he calls a rigged system, to a rigged system that he hopes his voters believe in. Yeah, he has to now, right? Because he's the Republican nominee and this is going to be a factor, perhaps not a big one, perhaps not one that'll change the hearts and minds of voters, but this is something he is going to have to contend with and his framing is, again, that this is all election interference. The same argument the prosecutors made against him, right? He was trying to subvert democracy. That's how he's going to try to frame this to the American public to explain why he is now a convicted felon. And what's remarkable is... 
the sentencing for Donald Trump in this case is going to happen. That hearing four days before he will attend the Republican National Convention as the party's, he's the presumptive Republican nominee. Now he will become the party's official nominee there. That's also when he's expected to announce who is going to be the vice presidential candidate. And it's remarkable that obviously we've never been at this moment in history, but the fact that he will be at that convention four days after he is sentenced in this case, when we find out what the judge here, Judge Juan Marchand, who is attacked repeatedly as corrupt without any basis, basis for that, it is a remarkable moment and where this election is headed. We don't know what the point At the end of the day, man, this is that he saw a playbook, man, you know, the smear campaign and they pretty much are dragging this man through the mud, man. You know, and pretty much uh, uh, making a, uh, and then somehow, some way, you know, the, 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 the hooker pretty much uh, 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 got, you know, uh, uh, int intertwined with this whole uh, ordeal. You see, you know, and, and pretty much now, you know, and, and, and you know, the signs of infidelity and, 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 you know, you know, you know, you know, this is the way of the West, you know, but, you know, this is, this is, this is what they do, man. You know, they, they drag this man through the mud, but now, okay. The thing is now is that the people are pretty much are, are being more and more on board with them, man. Okay. They don't even know what to do with this, this man. You see, this man is gaining more and more support, man, without even really going on a campaign trail, man. You know, the writers are on the wall. People see things for what it is, man. You see, but they really think that they're going to have hope, hope in this man getting in office, man. Okay. You know, it, you, you, you have to know that there's, there, there is a force that is going to do everything necessary for him not to get into that Oval Office. It's plain and simple. Political impact of this will be, but the fact that he'll be sentenced as a convicted felon four days before the Republican convention is something we've never seen before. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Dale, fact checker uh, for us, is with us. Daniel, you heard what uh, former president said there. What stood out to you? He made the false claim that he made before the trial, made almost every day during the trial, and repeated again now after the trial. He said that this was all done by the Biden administration. As I've said, I think, on TV more than 10 times at this point, there is not a shred of evidence that the Biden administration and, did and, anything. And see, at the end of the day, man, you know, like I said, all these people, man, that you're seeing here, and um, I purposely uh, pretty much uh, uh, made this video on a, a pretty much a, a left-leaning platform, okay, C uh, CNN, and pretty much, you know, everybody's bought and paid for, man, you know? You see, you know, even, even even people in this truth in these other camps, man, everybody's born paid for, man, for for a certain agenda, man. You see. And then prior to this this day, you had Robert De Niro out there, uh, uh, the actor. OK, uh, from, uh, uh, you know, uh, award acclaimed actor from, uh, you know, play from Taxi Driver to uh, Goodfellas to, to the casino. You know, we played all, all, all the movies and pretty much now he's has getting involved with this whole politics thing, you know? And, 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 you know, like I said, these people are pretty much, and this guy's worth hundreds of millions of dollars, man. What what uh, uh, benefit does he have for it unless he was sent, man? You see? You know? And, 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 and this right here, man, is just to be, uh, this is a form of persecution right here, man. You know? And this will be a tactic from this man's playbook, man. Point blank, period. Okay? You see? All right. And it, even with with, 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 the, with the brothers in this truth, man, you know, you got to remember this is this dragon, man. This dragon is going to get rough with the woman, man. But we're seeing a little bit of it right now. OK, because they, uh, all things goes all fail with this whole thing. And I'm trying not to uh, put them down and, and not not uh, uh, pretty much, you know, uh, run on 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 his pancake uh, pan, uh, campaign, you know, and, it's not, and you know, they want to see his numbers decline in, in, the, in the polls. But, you know, they want to label him a convicted felon. That's what they wanted to do. They wanted to put a label on him now, you know. You know so now they would just say Donald Trump, the convicted felon. Okay, that's 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 going to be the pretty much the the, uh, the, the, the song that they're going to sing during this uh, 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 campaign trail, so to speak. Okay, you see, but we understand that. Listen, this is right out, right out of East playbook, man. You know, smear campaign, persecution. And if all, all other fails, man. You know, hey man, they gonna have to they have to turn this man's TV off, man. You see, you know, and it's already talk talking about that. How they talk about the, on the other media, man. They're seeing that this is not gonna stop, man. You know, like this right now for them for them for the unseen hand. This is a, a, a all means necessary, man. Okay, 
they put all their ducks in a row, man. You know, they can't have somebody come in and pretty much undo things that they have un undone. But you see how the country is divided over this whole thing. Okay. And uh, like I said, at the beginning of the, of the video, it's going to be a hot summer, you know, because now, you know, this, the, the, the baiting and, and uh, divided, uh, you know, ideologies, it's going to come to a head, man. Okay. It's going to come to a head in the streets. It's going to come to a head at, 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 at particular rallies. It's going to have a, a protest out there in the streets. You know, whether it's, uh, uh, you know, orchestrated or not, but uh, uh, it's, it's going to be of a, of a natural thing. You see? All right. All right. From there, let's go to let's go to Mark. I'm going to stay in the I'm going to stay in the, uh, the NL, NLT. Let's go to Mark three. Yeah, this place, man, you, you see, you see the writers on the wall, man, you know, and there's nothing that nobody can do about it, man. But complain. You see? All right. This is Mark chapter 3, verse 23. Yahweh Shai called them over and responded with an illustration. How can Satan cast out Satan, he asked. A kingdom divided by civil war will collapse. You see? And, and, and this place is going to be divided by civil war, man. You know, you, you're, you're already seeing the, the predictive programming that's pretty much out in the, in the movie theaters now. You see? All right, so they already put into the minds of the people. And these people, like I said, these, these red bulleted uh, um, you know, patriots, man, they already are prepared for this thing, man. Okay, you see, this place is, is pretty much going to collapse, man. And this is not this is and this is just the tip of the iceberg of, of really what's wrong with the, wrong with this place, man. You see, okay, it says similarly, a family splintered by feuding will fall apart. You know, and we're seeing this place. This place is pretty much is splintered, and, and everybody has the different views. And man against woman, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, adult against child, you see, you know, uh, you know, the old against the young, you know, uh, divided by race, you see, okay, religion, okay, this place is divided on on all 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 cylinders, you see, okay, hey, the Lord is making do on His promise, man, okay, you got to cast this place down, you see, verse twenty six. And if Satan is divided and fights against himself, you know, they're all the damn devil at the end of the day, you know, <laughs> you see, you know, but if, but, but if he's divided and fights against himself, how can he stand? He will never survive. Okay. This place is not going to be healed, man. You know, and I want to read this here in 27. And he says here, let me illustrate this further. Who was powerful enough to enter the house of the strong man like Satan and plunder his goods? Only someone even stronger, someone who could tie him up and then plunder his house. And we're going to see that, man. This man, pretty much, man, he, this man has the, 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 the wanderers pretty much coming into this country, man. Okay? They're not being vetted. And uh, they could be from, from and, and they have, can't have any, any agenda, uh, you know, any agenda under their plans. You see? Okay? And pretty much this place being divided and fighting, okay, pretty much weakens that, that, that strong man's house, man. You see? This place is not uh, uh, no type of united front, man. You know? Okay? People pretty much got, got a bone to pick with, with certain different issues, man. You know? You got some people, man, that don't even give a damn about these uh, uh, set, set, set elections coming up, man. They just really about, just, they want to get that, that they need food on the table ASAP, man. Okay? You know? They got to pay, they got to pay these utility bills ASAP, man. You know? They got to worry about how they're going to be able to uh, 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 make it through the month. You know? People pretty much living paycheck to paycheck, man. You know? You know, people don't have the, the patience to, uh, uh, of this whole political system, man. Because why? It's because uh, they don't have any faith in it, man. OK, you got a lot of people now that pretty much are, are saying, listen, um, you know, they're going to pretty much sit this one out, so to speak. You know, they don't think that, you know, it's going to do any good for anything, man. And people are going to, uh, you know, the power is going to stand in the, in the people's hands, man. You know, you know, this is the time when you're going to start to see the sedition amongst men, man. You know, OK, because now they think they, it's going to they're going to get hit with the cold, hard reality, man, that this place has never been for them, man. You know what I'm talking about? The citizens, man. They're going to see it, man. Okay? They're going to see it, man. 
You know, so this this whole pretty much this whole love affair, man. You know, uh, you know, it, it's pretty much this love affair with with this individual here is pretty much gonna it's gonna come to an abrupt end soon, man. Okay, all right, and they pretty much are gonna do it in 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 uh, uh, a type of fashion. Okay, where it's going to be broadcast, so to speak. You see? All right? You're already seeing the persecution right now. Okay? You're seeing that they're just slinging this man through the mud, man. Okay? Or to the fact of, of, of not getting him in office, man. You know? So, you know, we're going to keep the finger on, on the pulse. You know? And, and pretty much, man, we're going to be watching out for, for this, man. You know? But we know that this all ties into prophecy, man. You know? Okay? This man has a bounds that he can't pass, man. You know? All right, so with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Bukakwadash. Shalom.